to the major headline this Wednesday night. President Biden keeping a campaign promise late today, declaring that he will cancel thousands in federal student loan debt for some 43 million Americans, up to $10,000 in federal student loans for those making 125,000 or less, and canceling up to 20,000 in student loans for those who received Pell Grants. The president saying it will give working and middle class families some much needed, quote, breathing room. Tonight here, the support for the plan, but also heavy criticism from some Democrats and many Republicans, but already from some of the millions of students and families saddled with college debt, relief that some help is now on the way. Here's our chief White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, tonight. President Biden today announcing what could be life-changing relief, saying his move to cancel student debt would entirely wipe out loan balances for some 20 million Americans. I made a commitment that would provide student debt relief. And I'm honoring that commitment today. The president promising assistance for the overwhelming majority of people with outstanding student loans by forgiving up to $10,000 for individuals earning less than $125,000 a year or couples making less than $250,000 and forgiving up to $20,000 for low-income borrowers who receive Pell Grants. It also extends the federal pandemic pause on student loan repayment through the end of this year. And the president is proposing that people with undergraduate loans will be able to cap their payments at 5% of their monthly income. People can start, finally crawl out from under that mountain of debt to get on top of their rent and their utilities, to finally think about buying a home or starting a family or starting a business. It is a massive relief to people like Nick Fuller, a teacher from Michigan who graduated in 2018 with over $60,000 in debt. It's lifted a huge part of the stress in my life away. But in Texas, Sharifa Mason was hoping for more. She's the first in her family to graduate college and has had her wages garnished by the government due to her loans. I know that there needs to be more done simply because black women in this space uh, are hit with the student loan debt more disproportionately than any other demographic. And Republicans like Senator Mitt Romney call President Biden's move an attempt to bribe the voters, saying it fuels inflation and foots taxpayers with other people's financial obligations. Minority leader Mitch McConnell calling it astonishingly unfair and a slap in the face to every family who sacrificed to save for college, every graduate who paid their debt. And so let's get right to Cecilia Vega live at the White House tonight. Cecilia, President Biden promising, obviously, this relief uh, to some 43 million Americans was the number they released late today. You and I were on the air. But bottom line, uh, when can they expect this to go into effect? When will they get this relief? Well, some good news right now, David, for some 8 million people who be, could, could become automatically eligible because the Department of Information Education already has their income information. Others, they might have to wait a minute for the administration to create this new form. They'll then submit that and see if they qualify. But it's important to say here this income cap, that applies to the years 2020 and 2021. And anyone who took out a loan, David, after June 30th of this year, they're not eligible for this relief. In the meantime, Cecilia, the other questions on the Hill already tonight about how much this is going to cost and how to be paid for. This is a huge question, and we just got a new estimate from a nonpartisan budget group. They say this could cost taxpayers some $500 billion over the next decade, David. Cecilia Vega at the White House for us. Thank you, Cecilia.